I'm delighted to welcome new and returning faculty to the new academic year. I'm Dr. Lonnie Schaefer, the former Vice President for Academic Affairs here at Thomas Nelson. President Brannon has given me a wonderful opportunity to return to Thomas Nelson to assume my former role, only this time as an interim Vice President of Academic Affairs. Acknowledging the disruptions, the obstacles, the challenges you faced over the past academic year, I congratulate you on your success in holding fast to your calling to offer quality educational opportunities for our students. And as we approach this new academic year, I encourage you to maintain that spirit of commitment. Engage with your colleagues with a focus on helping students to learn and to grow and help us work towards achieving a promising vision of excellence, diversity, inclusion, and equity, and creating opportunity for all of the people in the community that we serve. I look forward to reconnecting with many of you and to meeting the new faculty. And I'd like to say we are very committed in academic affairs to assuring that you have a great year in 2021-22. It's a pleasure to welcome everyone back. I'm Ursula Bach, Dean of Arts, Business, Humanities, and Social Sciences at um, Thomas Nelson Community College. And I have to say, in thinking about the uh, beginning of the academic year this year, there are a lot of different thoughts that crowd into my mind. And first of all, I think the important thing is to um, look back and see what we have accomplished in the past, because the past helps us build for the future. And so what I saw last year is people who reacted to setbacks with resilience, with grace, and with determination. And I have to say that in spite of all the irritants, things went quite well. And that brings me to a comparison because if you think about a pearl, a pearl starts with an irritant and slowly and surely and persistently and without ever giving up, the mollusk surrounds the irritant with nacre. And in time, we have a beautiful product. And that's what I saw last year. So many pearls at the college, so many people who took the setbacks and made something good out of them. But you know, there's another aspect to this because irritants don't always produce pearls. Irritants can produce pus as well. And we know that pus is repulsive, it's ugly, it hurts, it's a sore, it can get infected, and it's just not good all around. And so what I would like us to remember as we embark on this new academic year is that we will have irritants. There is no doubt about that. There is still a lot of uncertainty and there are things that are going to happen that we didn't want to happen. And there are things that we would have wanted to happen that will not happen. So we will have irritants. However, the point is that we have a choice in how we react to them. And I would encourage us all to choose the approach of the pearl, to create a lustrous, beautiful jewel out of an irritant in terms of reacting graciously, reacting patiently, being persistent, and just letting the good prevail. Welcome back, everyone. On behalf of the Public Safety Allied Health and Human Services Division, we would like to take this opportunity to welcome everyone back for the fall 21 academic year. We know that many of you transitioned back, whether you were faculty or staff last spring and this past summer, and we appreciate all the hard work and dedication that you provided. We also want to thank those who never left campus, our essential workers, plant services, facilities, our bookstore staff, as well as our campus police officers kept our, our campuses safe, beautiful, and stocked with everything that our faculty, staff, and students needed. Again, on behalf of the Public Safety, Allied Health and Human Services Division, Welcome back everyone and thank you for all that you do. Greetings and welcome to another academic year. 
My name is Dr. Charles Dessisaw, and I serve as Dean of the Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics Division. It is our hope that you had a safe and enjoyable summer and that you have recharged your batteries and are now ready for action. Within this presentation, we will share with the college an update on different activities that have been going on within the STEM division. In the area of mechanical engineering technology, four mechanical engineering technology students were accepted into the NASA Pathways Career Program. The Pathway Program provides current students with paid work experience and recent graduates with career development opportunities. We are so proud that these students represented Thomas Nelson Community College. Our unmanned system drawing program continues to grow. Thomas Nelson Community College was accepted in the Federal Aviation Administration Unmanned Aircraft System Collegiate Training Initiative Program. This is a program designed to provide professional opportunities for our professors. It provides credibility to the program and what many people do not know is that this program involves faculty from our information technology area, geology, and engineering. Student Jackson Blummer was selected for a job at the Drone Up Company. He is responsible for inspection of cell phone towers between Hampton and Williamsburg. May I remind you, Jackson is 18 years old. Therefore, this program provides many opportunities for our student and continues, as I previously mentioned, to grow. In the area of information systems technology, the professors are working very hard as they will submit a proposal to apply for the Associate of Applied Science degree in cybersecurity. Also, it is time for recertification for the Center for Academic Excellence. This is a very important certification as it relates to cybersecurity and it is a tedious process. For our science programs, geology, Thomas Nelson Community College faculty continue to collaborate with faculty at the College of William and Mary Geology Department and Virginia Institute of Marine Science. In the area of chemistry, two students completed a summer 10 weeks program at Old Dominion University. This is a good illustration of the wonderful relationship that we have with senior institutions within the area. Hats off to the Department of Mathematics. Math professors worked this summer on a project designed to help contribute to student success. Videos were created for all the developmental math courses and a few of the gateway math courses. These are short videos that consists of student interviews on how to succeed in math courses, a summary of the course requirements, and a demo of how to use the course homework software. This project was completely faculty driven and it should help contribute to retention and student success. The Math Emporium. Since students will be on campus, the Math Emporium Lab will be open for face-to-face -face and online services for our students starting the fall 2021 semester. New STEM programs for fall 2021. The Associate of Applied Science in Electronics Technology program is being discontinued and is being replaced by the Associate of Applied Science in Electrical Engineering Technology. The reason for this change is because we are following recommendations from industry leaders. Within our CAD program, we will have three new career studies certificates. Ship Drafting and Design, Virtue Machining and Design, 
and architecture technology. Partnerships and progress. We have many opportunities to establish partnerships with excellent organizations or businesses here within the region. What we're doing right now is conducting research, then we will write a proposal and submit it to the Vice President of Academic Affairs for review and approval. But let me share information with you about some of those excellent partnerships opportunities. Hampton Boys and Girls Club. They approach us and they are interested in establishing a partnership where our faculty share information with their students at an early age about the STEM programs that we have available here at Thomas Nelson Community College. Walmart Expand Education Program. And many of you may have heard this in the news recently, but Walmart Management has decided to encourage and invest millions of dollars in paying for their employees to further their education or attain additional training. Therefore, we reach out to Walmart National Office and they put us in touch with Walmart Local Management. The objective is to recruit Walmart local employees to attend Thomas Nelson Community College. Next, we have the Hampton University Architecture Department. What we have done is reach out to Hampton University and we are trying to establish an articulation agreement for our architectural certificate program. CAD Ribbit Software Summer Training Program for Public School Teachers. Working with the Workforce Development Office, we were able to put on a workshop for the public school teachers within this area and across the state of Virginia. 17 participants participated in this workshop, which represented eight public school districts. The purpose of this was to offer a community project for our teachers, but also to build relationships within the public school system. Then we have the apprenticeship opportunities for our students. To date, two companies have approached us and stated that they are interested in the STEM division working with their company to establish an apprenticeship program for our students. In summary, the STEM faculty and staff are innovative, creative, and motivated to offer programs that will serve the needs of our students and the community. We will continue to work with business and industry leaders to achieve these goals. Once again, welcome back. We sincerely hope that everyone will have a productive and enjoyable semester. We have much work to do and we just can't wait to get started. Thank you again and thank you for listening.